in Mike Kazi. Morning, Mike. Morning. Well, we got something to talk about this morning. Yeah. <laughs> what a trade yesterday in baseball. I, don't, I think the, Dod, um, the Red Sox are going to have even a harder time to find a manager now. Ah, uh, man. Well, well, they got rid of one. They got rid of Price, which was good, but Mookie Betts, you just never would have thought it. No, that's, that makes no sense to me. I don't know what they're doing, and they got very little back in return for him. Um, you know, they're going to play, oh, well, we got rid of, uh, we got rid of Price. She got rid of Mookie Betts. Yeah. Mookie Betts is the, the face of the Red Sox for the last couple of years, and you got rid of him. What's that tell your fan base? What's that tell everybody? I have no idea what the Red Sox are doing. And they haven't named a manager yet. Well, like I said, they're going to have a real problem naming a manager getting rid of this guy. Who, who would want to go to the Red Sox now? Yeah. It's, and uh, the, the, the Dodgers made room. They trade Jock Peterson to the Angels to get Mookie Betts a, a starting position. Um, so we'll see. The, uh, the Dodgers, I, I, like, I like what they say. They, uh, we're going to be the team of the 20s. Yeah, we'll, we'll see about that. Um, they, sh they, they should be pretty good. Um, <clears throat> the problem with the Dodgers is going to be their pitching. We'll see how that pans out. They should score a bunch of runs, um, but it's yet to see how things are played out. When, uh, when the Yankees got Stanton, everybody said they were going to win the World Series for the next 5,000 years. Now, that didn't work out too good either. Um, you have to have chemistry with the team. But the Dodgers put a real prop. That might be the best player on the Dodger team right now that they got. And uh, the Red Sox, how do you explain to your fan base this move? That's what I'd like to hear. It's, uh, well, like I said. They it, say it's money. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I, I want a team that wins, and I want players that win. And just like when they got rid of John Lester, as soon as John Lester walked out the door, they're trying to replace him. Well, guess what? Mookie Betts just left, and you're trying to replace him already. Hmm. It doesn't make any sense. Those are the kind of players you want to get, not get rid of. Yeah, we'll see what happens because we're not that far off from the, from the start. A couple know? of days yeah. away from pitchers and catchers. Um, what's today's date? The fifth. Yeah. So you are 17 days away from the first tr spring training game. The Seven. first game. Game, yeah. Mm -hmm. 17 days away from it. All right. Where That's else? Twenty second starts real early this year. Yeah. Where else do we want to go? Is there any place else to go in sports? Oh, oh yeah, the Knicks. They fired their president. Yeah. Steve Mills. <laughs> who's, who's Steve Mills? Talk about a hopeless situation. Who's, wait, I know we said it before, we say it all the time, but who is the worst franchise in New York? Is it the Jets is it, or is it the Knicks? No, it's, I, I, gotta, it's, it's, I think it's, it's a the Knicks. slam dunk now with the Knicks. Oh, it's the Knicks. No, it's the Knicks. It's the Knicks. At least, at least players want to come and play in New York, okay, in football. In, ba in basketball, nobody, no superstar wants to come to New York. That, that team's in such disarray. Yeah. I don't even know where you start. They, they just got rid of the coach a few weeks ago. Now they got rid of the GM. The season's about halfway over, a little more than halfway over. So the white flag's gone up, and you have no idea what direction you're going in. And as far as establishing something for down the road with the draft, like you said, what kid's going to want to come and play here? Yeah, it's it's amazing. Also, well, there's another piece of news. Uh, the Astros hired a new GM. Yeah, Glick, right? Yeah, Glick, yeah. No, Click, Click, Click. I thought it was Glick. Uh, this says Click. Click. James Click. No, that, that's got to be wrong. Uh, well, it's on the Internet. It can't be wrong. Yeah. And no, it's 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 in the New York Times. Yeah, James Click. I thought it was the old guy Glick that they got. Yeah. Click. Well, anyways. Well, that's that's just like buying a Movado, but it's not a Movado, then <laughs> yeah. I guess, huh? That's exactly right. <laughs> oh gosh, so that happened, and uh, the Red Sox is. Uh, 
not having a manager yet is just the most amazing thing. It really huh. is. It really is. You're less than a week away from yeah. opening camp. Yeah. You don't know who's running it. Man, that's bad. I mean, that's what I mean with the Red Sox. You got rid of your best player. You're a week away, less than a week away from camp opening. You don't have a guy to run the ship. Man, can, can it get any worse? No. The only thing that can get worse is they say they're going to tear down Fenway Park. <laughs> that's not going to happen. No, that's not going to happen, but I'm just saying. They don't have a manager. They got rid of the best player that they had in the organization, and you expect people to open their checkbooks and write you a check for season tickets. I uh, don't think so. All Red Sox fans will. Um, don't be so sure about that. Don't no. be so sure about that. This is a team that was a dominant team in baseball not too long ago. They're not dominant anymore. They're far from. They don't even know who's running it. Can you imagine the turmoil in New York if this happened to the Yankees? Regardless of who their manager was, if they're less than a week away before training camp opens and they don't have a manager, can you imagine that? No, it would. It, uh, there would be. It, it, there would be. Outrage. It'd be like saying the, the Earth's going to get hit with, a, hit, yeah. with, hit with a meteor in about two minutes. It'd be the end of the world in New York. The Yankees have no manager. They start practice on Tuesday. What's going on? It'd be, I, I don't know if it's like that in Boston because I'm removed from there. I don't know. But I can't see it not being that way. Yeah, no. Right. There. It's, uh, it's, it's strange. It's just strange to see. Yeah, anyways, but oh well. Makes no sense. <clears throat> all right. Uh, anything, else, anything else at all to talk about in sports? Um... Rutgers lost a tough game last night to Maryland, uh, 56-51 on the road in Maryland. Rut Rutgers is playing good, and uh, I think they have a shot to make the tournament, Wow! believe it or not. I think they have an outside shot to make the tournament, which is a major accomplishment for them. Rutgers. They were ranked, um, and uh, the Big Ten has a lot of teams that are ranked, and they lost by five in a close game to Maryland, who's ranked ninth right now. You know, take the rankings for what you want them to be because <laughs> they change more than the than the the Red Sox change their outfielders now. But uh, they're playing good basketball. Thought, never thought I'd say that. Rutgers, the yeah. big the big red. Yeah, the big red. <laughs> That's Nebraska. You know what gave you know what gave Rutgers a bad name in sports? Their lack of ability to have a winning team on anything? No, that football coach who went to the NFL. Um, who, Chiano? Yeah. <laughs> I think his press, he gave just as much negative press to them as he did positive yeah, press. Yeah, exactly didn't right. he have? Didn't he do some bad deals, and that was another reason for him leaving Rutgers? Didn't he have, like, the NCAA breathing down his back? I did, yeah, but he left, so they, it wasn't pursued. And then he came, of course, to the NFL, <laughs> and... And he did. He wouldn't do. You know, during a, if if there was twenty seconds left in the game and a team had to snap a ball and they had the lead, yeah, well, they wouldn't stop. They, they would. They would. Yeah. They'd, they'd still crack them around. And I'll never forget. He said that after they did it to the Giants, and he said, "Well, just look at our videotapes. You'll see what we are." Mm -hmm. And and I remember Tom Coughlin says, "We look at the videotapes. We we, we looked at the W's and the L's." <laughs> yeah, people forget that. Yeah. You know, <laughs> the NCAA should say, "Well, pursuant with why you left." We're going to pick up that investigation yeah. again. Yeah. I mean, why should this guy be absolved just because he quit and ran ran away with his tail between his legs? Happens in all. I'm the not a big Chiano fan, folks. Yeah, it happens in all. Uh, in, 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 there's so many people now coaching in 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 uh, basketball and football mm -hmm. that have checkered trails in in college. It's not funny. No, but, yeah. no I agree with that. But they get absolved they, when, when they leave their job. They get absolved. That's exactly right. Statutes of limitation. <laughs> it's just, it's just going to be a matter of time till Urban Meyer is going to be touted as a genius again. Like yeah. you could mark my words. Yeah. Everywhere he goes, he leaves death and destruction. <laughs> All right, I'll check with you tomorrow. Have a great day, guys. Take care, Mike. Mike Kazi with a check on sports this morning here on Robin Hood Radio.